George is getting in. No, George. He's just going, no just going for it. That's how good they are. Soon enough. Hi, Bull Bakers. I love going through the effort on the weekends to make breakfast pastries like croissants, cinnamon rolls, sticky buns. A really popular recipe that I'm seeing out there a lot in bakeries right now and online is a morning bun. It is a lovely soft Danish with a cinnamon swirl on the inside. It is a recipe that is a little bit more involved than normal, but don't worry, I am here to help you bake with confidence. We are going to break it down, just do as few steps as possible and have amazing results. So we're gonna start out by making the dough. We are going to add into our bowl our flour, sugar, a little bit of salt and yeast. And then just mix all these ingredients together. So to our flour, we are going to add our butter. Butter is a really important ingredient here. Just cut it in with a knife. You can also use a pastry blender and then go in with your hands and then just rub it in until it resembles pretty coarse breadcrumbs. You want to have big lumps of butter here and small lumps of butter. That is exactly what we're going for. I get asked a lot, what kind of butter do I use? I use um, good quality butter, Irish butter if I can. And I always use salted because it has that little bit of extra flavor and just makes everything lovely. So there you go. As you can see, there's big lumps of butter in here and there's some small lumps. This is exactly what I was going for. Here in my jug, I have a little bit of milk. Into this, we are going to add in an egg. If you don't eat eggs, you can use a flax egg here. And then a little bit of vanilla extract. And then just whisk all those together. And then go ahead and add your wet into your dry. And then just give it a quick mix to bring together your dough. So I just bring the dough together with a fork. You can see it's a little bit of a wet dough. That's totally fine. In a few seconds, it comes together. Then I'm going to lay out a piece of cling wrap and then I'm just going to wrap up my dough nice and tight. And I'm going to kind of shape it into somewhat of a rectangle. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. So here's the deal. We are going to chill this now. Now you can chill it anywhere from three hours up to three days. You can get this step ready in advance. I'm going to put this into the fridge and just like that, I have one that I made yesterday. It's nice and cold and we are gonna continue with this step. So like I said, three hours, up to three days, take out your dough, it's nice and chilled. I am gonna put a little bit of flour on my countertop. So we're gonna roll this out into a big rectangle, eight inches by around 15 inches. Get in and around there and you'll be doing good. You can see just by looking at this, of the big lumps of butter. Now you want to work fast because you don't want those to start warming up, you want them to stay cold. Okay, lovely. So now here's what we're going to do. We're going to fold it. It's super easy. You go one, two, done. Fold it like an envelope. So as simple as that, I don't want you to overthink this process. It's actually quite easy. Now turn your dough and we're going to roll again. Same eight by around 15. And if you need more flour on your surface, then absolutely go for it. So you'll notice that the butter is kind of spreading out and getting bigger. That's exactly what we want. There's our rectangle. Once again, do your envelope fold. One, two, done. So this is our third time. Roll it out again to your rectangle. Fold it. Now cover your dough in cling wrap and we're gonna pop it into the fridge to chill for an hour. Then take it out again and we're gonna do it three more times. Roll, fold and turn. Now chill your dough for two hours or you can leave it in the fridge for up to two days. So it's been two hours, my dough is nice and cold. I'm just gonna dust my countertop with a little bit of flour. And then we're gonna take our rolling pin and we're gonna roll the rectangle out now to around 12 inches by 18 inches. So a little bit bigger. Okay, so we have a nice big rectangle. There we go. This is why a ruler is really important for a baker in the kitchen. Now, here I have some softened butter. I put this in the microwave, just let it get a little bit soft. I don't let it get melted. And what we're going to do is just Take a spatula and smear this all over the top, leaving a little bit of a border. We don't want it to go all the way. Be nice and generous with this butter. I know it looks like a lot. So here I have a little bit of cinnamon sugar. This is in the recipe. It's brown sugar, white sugar, a little bit of salt, super important, and cinnamon. So you just mix those together and then we're just gonna sprinkle this on top of our butter. Be generous with this because you want that filling to really stand out. And just like the butter, almost all the way to the edge. Gorgeous. Now, we have a beautiful blank canvas. This is like just the way you would make cinnamon rolls. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the long, lengthy bit. We are going to roll that, and we are gonna create just like a cinnamon roll. 
There we go. And just keep on rolling, rolling until you have a nice big log. Okay, so now we have to cut them. Now, I see this a lot in recipes. Make sure you use a serrated knife when cutting dough. Don't use a chopping knife. You want the teeth to kind of work with the dough. You don't want to rip it. So cut this log into around 12 pieces. It's gonna make 12 morning buns. So those are all ready to go here. I have a cupcake tin that has been well buttered. I'm just gonna place each cinnamon bun into a well. This is why it's really useful that it makes 12 because you've got 12 wells. Then what I'm gonna simply do is cover this with some cling wrap, set it over at room temperature, and you want to let these rise and proof for around 45 minutes to an hour. It all depends, but you're going to see them get nice and big and puffy. So it's been an hour. These have risen up to the top of the well. They're nice and puffy and they've kind of rounded out. So now it's time to get these bad boys into the oven. These buns look gorgeous. You can see how flaky they are on the top. That's all our hard work of folding and rolling paying off. They're absolutely gorgeous. These look so good. I strongly recommend while they're still warm, I'm gonna taste them with Kevin. Kevin, come on in here. We are here. I'm gonna give you your own bun. Oh man. Look at this. Look at the bottom, how it gets like almost caramel. -y. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to start my day with one of these. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Listen. <laughs> that Caramel. Is good eating. Pastry. Oh, do you smell that guy? Oh my, oh God. my gosh. Jim, I know it's a lot of hard work, but this oh. is definitely well worth it. <laughs> These are amazing. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Not that hard. Absolutely delicious. Going to be a huge hit when you have friends over, family, it's the holidays. Definitely try them out. Mm -hmm. And I hope you like recipe recipes on the website, and I'll see you again really soon. George is getting in. No, George. He's just going, no just going for it. That's how good they are. Soon enough. <laughs>